So I'm here in Savannah, Georgia, and I'm right over on uh, Victory Drive. I'm here to check out a garage. Well, it's not the garage, but it's a fitting name because this chef, well, he's going 100 miles an hour. This is the garage at Victory North. Two cauliflowers, one catfish. You come in, you're comfortable, you're having amazing food. The masa crusted whiting. His food tastes like he comes from a very good home. Right. Like he was loved and nurtured. <laughs> and Chef Todd Harris is putting all of that love with plenty of local ingredients into a boatload of regional favorites. Everything sort of has a southern leaning because we try to work with local farms to get our produce or our meats. That's really sort of what anchors it all together. Was that a nautical joke because we're on the river, or was that a... A little bit. It's almost like eclectic, upscale comfort food. Timer going in for two blue crab flatbreads. Blue crab flatbread is soft yet crispy. It's got this fermented corn in there. It's just delicious. What's the dish called? Crab flatbread. We're going to make the dough. Just a high gluten bread flour, okay. some kosher salt, a little dry active yeast. Then while that's going, olive oil goes in the top and water. It'll form itself into a ball and sits for a few hours. Just let that yeast do its work. Absolutely. Okay. So we're going to make this spread that goes on cream cheese, mascarpone, lime juice, and salt. Fresh blue crab meat. Just one kiss. I mean, just like a wah, wah, that's it. What are we making next? We're going to work on the vinaigrette. Old Bay, red wine vinegar, and some extra virgin olive oil. Now we're going to work on the fermented corn. So you grill the corn, then you're going to ferment the corn yeah. in salt water? Yeah. This I got to see. It's a 2% salt to water. I don't think I've ever seen this, by the way. You're going to cut this off the cob, put it in the salt brine. It's good to go after three days. Can we make the dish now? Or is there one other mystical method of something we're going to do? I don't believe so. After our pizza dough has proofed, we portion it out, 50 gram portions. We roll it out. OK, down dry both sides. Then after it's cooked, our crab spread. Then go in the oven? About six minutes. After it's done, give it a quick cut onto the plate and dress it all up. We got scallions, dill, cilantro, a little parsley. The Old Bay vinaigrette. This is like shrimp toast gone wild. A spoon of fermented corn, lime zest, and there it is. This ain't your mama's shrimp toast. <laughs> Not that my mama ever made shrimp toast. Neither did mine. It's silky, it's creamy, it's salty, it's funky. You have the caramelization of those cheeses, then you have the herbaceousness of the salad, then you get these little pops of this funky corn that has so much more depth than I anticipated. Delicious dish. Your blue crab flatbread. It's delicious. I can taste the fresh crab. Then you put all the fresh herbs together, and it's just an unctuous bite. 